Hello everyone and welcome back to Venture Arctic where we have been trying to balance our ecosystem and we're actually not doing too terribly. Um, we have too many wolves and uh, we don't have quite enough cod. Actually, I should have. That was, uh, that was, uh, that was autumn, wasn't it? I should have probably made one of the wolves sick, even though that sounds terrible. It's necessary for survival. But, uh, oh, and the, the wolf over here, this, this wolf is a champion. Look at this wolf uh, at 10 years old. That's absolutely amazing for a wolf. Normally they don't, uh, normally they don't live that long. And I think for, even in real life, I believe that's fairly accurate. Most wolves, I think, live to be like six to eight. If I, I'm, if I'm remembering numbers correctly, something like that. Wild wolves don't live all that long. They have a, a pretty, um... They have a pretty tough life, and so a lot of them don't make it that far, so for- Oh, why are you guys over here? Um, well, apparently these wolves have actually made it over to, uh, to this area in search of caribou, which is kind of interesting, actually. I, uh, didn't know they would do that, but are they gonna make it farther? We'll have to see, I suppose, so that's actually a good thing. Where is the other wolf, though? Oh, there's- that was a raven that died. Our raven population, is that still okay? Yeah, it's still alright. Um, where's the other wolf? I guess if we cycle to the wolf, we can see it on the map, right? Oh, all three are over here somewhere. Oh yeah, this one's wandering this way too, so we're- Oh, this one's probably gonna die, though. This one's idle, and the one over here is searching for food. So these guys will have to make sure that come the end of winter, which I think might be progressing a little more quickly this time, uh, that they get enough food. But we might, um, we might want this wolf over here, this, uh, this champion of, oh, oh no, are you going to be okay? I'll freeze this over for you. Because this wolf is, uh, this wolf's getting a little bit sick because probably just because of how freaking old it is. Um, is it going to make it? I don't actually know. It's a little bit sick. I kind of, I want this, at this point, I want this uh, wolf to, I want this wolf to make it. This wolf is kind of, uh, kind of insane. But hopefully, did one of these wolves die? Oh, yeah, one of them did, unfortunately. But the other one is pregnant, actually. So that might, that might solve this problem on its own. Oh, this one's pregnant as well. <laughs> so we'll see if this one, if this one goes this way and has babies, and this one goes this way and has babies, that's going to actually be perfect for our wolf population. Let's make sure we get lots and lots of berry bushes around in these areas where, especially where we have um, the animals that might really need them, especially right over here too. So it's our wolf. There's, there is the wolf is still around here. We've still got too many of them, but maybe if they get into this area, it'll be a little bit better. So let's go ahead and we'll melt away some of the snow, especially up here. I want the caribou to kind of come back in the direction of the wolves probably. And we might... The raven population needs to go up, so we need to kind of mind that, I think. Um, let's make sure we clear some of this out. We'll make sure we clear some of this area. Is this wolf... No, did the wolf die? No, that's a hare. That's a, that's a hare. The wolf's still okay. Oh, the wolf is... Uh, the wolf's having a problem, though. I'm not sure the wolf's gonna make it. Oh, no. Is this wolf gonna make it? Oh... It's gonna, it's gonna have a hard time, although maybe it can get up there and get to the carcass. It's, it is having a hard time. So you need a lot of summer spirit, so, oh my goodness. Have you noticed that caribou carry summer spirit? Starve them, sicken them, or introduce a wolf pack to collect their spirits? That's, well, that's one way of going about it. Alright, so it's now autumn. I'm going to make sure that we get lots and lots of plankton here, because we definitely need that. Um, how is our caribou population? The cod is doing fine, but we'll need the puffins. Do we have enough? The, that's not, no, um, where's the puffins? Oh, the puffins are here. Oh, we actually do have enough. Okay. So they're clumsy flyers, but excellent swimmers. We need 14 of them and uh, we can probably unlock them in the summertime. Did the wolf make it? The wolf's still making it. Oh my goodness. This wolf is a champion. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and I think it's actually managing to, well, no, it's getting more sick, actually, but maybe, oh yeah, it's, it's, it, it healed itself, it, it got enough energy to survive, this, this wolf, this one particular wolf has me absolutely fascinated, okay, so what else do we need to do? There's, oh, several of these wolves have died, how many do we have? We have three, and we still need to bring the number down, um... 
Oh, the caribou are over here. Oh, man, several of the adult wolves actually died. And this one is a juvenile, so I don't know if I can hunt. I'm going to actually make this caribou sick so that hopefully it will uh, it'll end up dying. And yeah, there we go. It actually did die. And then the wolf uh, will be able to eat it. And then where's the wolf over here? There is one, right? There's one right up there. Maybe if we... That's a juvenile. That's an adult. I'm going to make this one a little bit sick. And there... Well, maybe more than a little bit. And hopefully now this, um, this wolf will be able to eat. Yeah, the raven population needs to go up. Let's actually buy some ravens. And um, I'll place a few of them in the world because we have an excess of autumn spirit here and I don't think we're gonna need all of it. Do we have a wolf making its way over here? The wolf is still hanging out right here. This is still a juvenile. We want to make sure that we do lead it in the right direction. Let's um let's place some hares up here too. I'll place a few of them in just so that we can kind of start a population up here and hopefully that will provide some additional food for the wolf eventually. This guy, let's put some hairs over here. We do actually need to increase the population, so that's good news for us. Oh, one of them just died because wolf. <laughs> and let's make sure that come springtime momentarily here that we do find, oh, spring's going real fast. All right, let's, um, this one can have some babies and we'll let this one have a few babies as well. And... I uh, can't waste time here. Let's let's let the caribou have some babies, and we will let the um, the hare over here somewhere. Are there still hares over here? There are. Okay, let's let these guys have some babies as well. I'm gonna let uh, let several of them be pregnant because I think how is this wolf this this wolf is 12 and still surviving. Um, oh, that worked. So let's, oh, I want I want berry bushes, dang it. All right, there we go. Over here, we can go ahead and melt away some of the snow and ice. Oh, there we go, now we've got puffins too. That's right, we wanna make sure that we melt away all of these areas where we've got puffins. There were some frozen on that island too. So now we've got five of 14. We've got some over here as well. We are up to seven of 14. We wanna make sure too that we clear away a lot of this because we wanna make sure our wolf has enough food to eat and we wanna make sure our caribou over here have enough food to eat. And the caribou population could probably stand to come up. Oh no! No, the wolf died! Oh, I was hoping this guy would be able to survive. But it does not seem like it. How about over here? Let's go ahead and collect some of those. How's our wolf over here doing? He's still fine. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's, that's something else. So, you know what? Survivor wolf, where'd you go? Right? Oh no! Nope, that's not the wolf, is it? No, that was a hare. Where'd Survivor Wolf go? Right over here. You get to have a baby. 13 years old. You get to have a baby, though. But we've actually got a decently long summertime. That's good news. So let's come over here. We will unfreeze some of these areas. And that should give us a lot. Okay, we need less cod. We need less caribou. Well, oh no, we only got two wolves. Did... Oh no, I hope the survivor wolf didn't die. Is the survivor wolf over here? Oh no, the survivor- Those are the only two that are alive? Wait. Is that right? No, we've got three again. Okay, so we saw it just in the moment before that wolf had a baby, apparently. Because we've still got the one over here that's doing alright. So let's- Let's fill in this area because we want the uh, puffins and the cod to be able to, well, we want the cods, because I think the puffins, we, in fact, let's look at the lock shop, because I think it gives us info. See, a diet of fish. All right, so lifespan is 20 years. What does it say about the wolf? Seven years. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's a little bit insane to have a wolf that's 13 and still, still doing remarkably well. Like, that's, this is not common, for sure. I know I keep kind of obsessing over that one wolf. I'm just in amazement that this wolf has lived for so long. I wonder if I wonder if there's, like, a hard cutoff where it says, okay, this animal is, is way too old to physically survive any longer. We should see, too, if we look in the uh, lock shop here. Is there anything we can get for winter? Okay, autumn... Let's unlock jellyfish. So they go through boom and bust cycles depending on availability of food. They eat plankton and small fish. All right, so that's... They're gonna... They're going to fluctuate greatly, I think. Let's look at the lock shop as well and see. Narwhal is spring. 
Is there anything else we can unlock for winter? I do not think so. This wolf had a baby! This wolf had a baby! I didn't even know that! But, um, yeah. Oh, is this a sick raven? I think that is a sick raven. That's not, that's not the greatest of news. The raven population is super low! Holy smokes! Okay, um, well, we've got, you know, we've got a lot of autumn. Let's just forcibly increase this because I think we want to make sure... I don't know why, why are the ravens dying? Let's see if we can find out in the lock shop more about them. Shrubs and meat. Oh, so the ravens are dying because none of the wolves are near them. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense that we don't have enough, um, we don't have enough, <laughs> we don't have enough to afford that. Okay, then, uh, yeah, not enough. There we go. So let's see if we, if we can put some shrubs here, we'll put some around here. Put some up around here. We don't have that much time. The wolves probably need to be more prevalent to increase the uh, raven population. That or we just need to make sure we're putting out more shrubs at any given time of the year. Um, is there... So let's... We've got wolves coming over this way. Let's maybe increase the caribou population a bit. And we'll increase the, the hare population by quite a lot because these wolves are going to need to come in... And, uh, <laughs> they're gonna need to make their way down here, I think. Oh, there's... That's a, the 14-year-old wolf. This is insane. <laughs> that's longer than a lot of domestic dogs live. And domestic dogs live a lot longer than wolves, for the most part, because they have a, a much less harsh life. That's kind of insane, honestly. We've got... Oh, that's the hares. I was like, what is this congregation of animals? It's hares. That's what's happening here. We've got wolves. Where are the wolves? We've got... Okay, I want to see where are the wolves here. We've got two right here. Are they... Oh, they're hidden. Okay. Um, let's make one of the caribou sick to try and entice... Okay, that one's pregnant. This one's kind of elderly. Hopefully that'll try and entice some of the wolves over that way if they happen to find it. But if not, it'll also sustain the, um, I'm gonna let this one die. It'll also sustain the ravens, which we still really need their population to go up. What happens if you, you can't have fish sick? Okay, I was like, what, what's, what's gonna happen there? Okay, now we're back to winter again. What are these guys doing? They just killed a raven, oh my goodness. Well, okay then, oh no! You better eat. You better eat, buddy. <laughs> this wolf, this wolf is kind of in trouble now. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to freeze this over and kind of force some of the hares to go this way, I think, and kind of push them back out towards the wolves as well. Even though I prefer the wolves go in the other direction, uh, I'll take what I can get. We've got two pretty healthy wolves over here. We really need more ravens though is the issue. I don't know what keeps causing the ravens to die. I'm wondering if maybe their AI just isn't that great. I don't know. It's an older game, and so sometimes that can be a little bit of a problem. But uh, again, still kind of a still still kind of a classic in my opinion. Even if uh, it's not quite the kind of game we see today. How? Oh no! 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 Okay. Oh, we can actually unlock the um, the narwhals now too. So let's do that. There are strange tusked marine mammals that hunt fish. They're also social and tend to group. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm going to, I'm going to place the, not a narwhal, I want to place a hare here, and hopefully that'll sustain them. This wolf is 15. Now, there's a bunch of uh, hares over here as well. Let's go ahead, we'll do this, and I did say I was going to make a concerted effort to breed the puffins, so you know what we're going to do that. And we've got six puffin, or no, we've got, no, we, we do have eight. It's Our goal is goal number six. Where are the other puffins? Some of them are over here. This will help. All right, let's breed some of them. And we'll be unfreezing a lot of this soon, so that should help. I'm going to populate this area with shrubs. That's our one-year-old wolf. Where is the older adult? No! Oh, this is a sad, sad day. So that wolf lived to be 15. I mean, I guess the wolf lived a pretty good life, but still. Okay, so much times a goal require you to raise a species that doesn't naturally exist in the environment. Don't forget you can create new animals. 
So we completed our puffin goal, but we're going to need to place some jellyfish by the looks of it. Let's go ahead and place these guys here. I'll place two of them. Or you know what? I'm going to place... I Oh, nope. I did a bad thing. All right, let's continue. And I want to... Um, can we breathe the jellyfish? We can. We can breathe the jellyfish. There we go. Now it's summertime. All right, I'm going to place another jellyfish here real quick. And we'll, we will uh, burn away some of these uh, ice paths here. Is our wolf population balanced at least? Yes. The puffins need to come down, the ravens need to go up, and the jellyfish need to go up, I think. So the jellyfish have boom and bust cycles, which I kind of remember being a little bit tricky if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that can make them a little bit tricky to, to manage. Um, but we're going to do our best with that. Okay, these punks... They you all need to move closer to the wolves. I mean, I can, I guess, I can understand why they might not want to. <laughs> but, uh, okay, this one's 10 years old. Let's make this one a little bit sick. And I think, I'm going to go ahead and let it die because that should help this raven too. And we do want to make sure that the ravens continue. Okay, we don't have enough for that. We want to make sure the ravens continue to uh, grow in population now, I'm going to freeze over more of this area because I don't want the caribou sticking around. I kind of want them moving back out into the open. And uh, I want them to get closer to the wolves, probably. So, let's come over here. And there we go. We got... Mm, that still makes me really, really sad. That poor wolf. But the, I guess the wolf lived quite long. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You better, uh, you better find some food, buddy Oh. There is a hair over here. Man, this is making me a little bit nervous. I'm, I'm a little worried we're going to lose the wolf population over here. Hopefully. Oh, somehow this, this wolf is pregnant. I'm, I'm not sure how that happened because this wolf's completely alone. But, uh, okay, you know what? I'm not going to question it. <laughs> we might have to get more jellyfish. I, I might place, I'll place a couple more of them here, I think. All right, we had, we had one that was just born, I think. Um, let's go ahead and I will, I want to swipe this as well. Oh, we've still got some frozen narwhals over here too that we'll have to thaw out come summertime. Is there anything that I'm not, uh, well, I don't want to miss that. That, that would be a lot, uh, a lot to give up here. Oh no, we lost our wolf. Oh my gosh, we've got so many, uh, we've got so much, so much going on here though. Okay, you know what, I'm going to put another wolf down over here, I think. And uh, kind of um, kind of give this wolf pack the chance to take off again, I hope. Oh, can we get some berries over here, maybe? It didn't let us. Uh, we have to place it on fertile ground. But we will place some of that over here. And I think we're actually going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. Because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.